If you're looking to grow microgreens, you're going to need some sort of rack system. You want to buy a rack that will last you for years and will be perfect for growing microgreens. The rack that I'm about to show you is incredibly space efficient when using standard 10 inch by 20 inch microgreens trays. It has six shelves and it's also really easy to set up with or without wheels. It follows all food and safety sanitation guidelines, which is also a huge plus because we're gonna be growing food with these racks. They are, in fact, NSF certified. For the best microgreens content on the internet, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you get notified when I post a new microgreens video on Tuesdays. I've been using the same microgreens racks for years and so have some of the best growers in the industry. I'm bringing in hundreds of dollars on each of these racks every week and they're great for not only starting out as a microgreens farmer, but also scaling up your business. I used to be able to buy these racks for only $64 on eBay when I first started four years ago, but since then the price has steadily been climbing and now the cheapest price is on Amazon for a little over $100. Um, I have to say that's the only downside to these racks is that the price has been climbing. Uh, but nevertheless, I'll put that link right down below in the description so you can see exactly where I'm buying my racks. There are unique benefits about these racks specific to growing microgreens, and I'm excited to share these with you right here in this video. When you first get this rack in the mail, it's gonna come in a box with everything you need. The main poles come separated in halves, which you're then gonna connect later on simply by screwing them together. There are six shelves that come with this specific rack unit, and they're gonna space out to be an ideal height for growing microgreens. This rack uses a special clamping system where these little clips snap into the ridges of the main poles. Once you put shelves onto the clamps, it actually applies pressure which holds the shelf in place. The more pressure and weight that's on each shelf, actually the more secure the shelf is gonna be. This makes the shelves extremely strong and sturdy. Because of this simple design, these racks are actually really easy to set up as well. These racks come with wheels as well as flat feet, so you can actually choose between the two based on your needs. And what's cool about the feet is they actually screw up and down, so if you're on uneven ground, you can actually use these feet to make your rack perfectly level. There are also some additional papers that come with the rack, um, but I usually just toss these right when I get it. Comment below and let me know how many trays you can fit onto your microgreens rack. The rack that I use can fit 20 microgreens trays. I love these racks for a lot of different reasons. Um, they're made of wire, so it makes it really easy to strap on things like lights, um, power strips, fans if you like to strap fans onto your shelves, and you can do this just with simple zip ties. The material that they're made out of is also very nice. The interior of these racks is actually made of steel, so they're extremely strong and durable. Then on the outside, there's also a protective outer coating that's actually resistant to corrosion and dirt buildup. This literally makes these racks perfect for growing microgreens because they're gonna get wet during watering, so they're corrosion resistant, and then also they're gonna be getting dirty, and they're also resistant to that dirt buildup. This material also won't harbor any mold like some of those wooden racks that I see people building from scratch. I don't like these wooden racks for two reasons. One, unless you're sealing that rack um, with like a wood sealer, it's gonna be harboring mold, which is the last thing you want near your plants. And then second of all, the time that it takes you to build these racks and then to seal them as well, if you value your time, time is money and you're gonna be spending more money in your time to build these racks than if you were to just buy one of these racks behind me that are perfect for the job and easy to set up. This rack specifically has six shelves, which means you're gonna have five shelves that you're going to be growing on. There are other similar racks, but they're not gonna be as space efficient because they're not the exact same dimensions. These racks are 82 inches tall, other similar ones are 72 inches tall. So if you get a different rack that's shorter, you're not gonna be able to get that amount of space between each shelf, and therefore you won't be able to maximize the use of every shelf. If you wanna make sure that you get the right rack, I included a link right below in the description so you can buy the same exact racks that I'm buying from the same exact spot that I'm buying them from. Aside from being able to use all the shelves of this rack, they're also the perfect length horizontally. When you put all four microgreens trays on the rack, they're gonna fill up the space almost perfectly with a little gap left over 
that's actually going to help with watering and moving trays on and off of the racks. So not only is this rack easy to set up, it's also extremely high quality and it's also very space efficient so you can maximize your microgreens farm. Now you know what I believe is the best microgreens rack in the industry, but what if you wanna see other people's setups? Join my microgreen support group on Facebook where you can see the different setups of people all around the world. We have, at the time that I'm shooting this video, over 6,000 members in there, so you can go right in there and see how other people are growing. Watch the videos below to learn how to set up this rack fast and easily with only one person, and use the other video if you wanna see exactly what's needed to get this rack set up for growing microgreens. If you liked this video, be sure to like it below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with anybody you think it may help. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.